let's talk about how to install the VBA controls. Here's the Propagating Waves spreadsheet, and it is completely set up with everything other than the VBA controls that I showed you earlier. So I can change the wavelength here. I can change the amplitude by typing in the numbers, and I can change the time. By typing in the time here. The graph is showing a graph of the x and y uh, table which goes down to an x of 100 and the equation, the formula used in the y column is a uh, is y is equal to the amplitude times the cosine of kx minus omega t where I'm using a w for omega. Here are the formulas. The frequency is v divided by the wavelength. The angular frequency is 2 times pi times f, f being the frequency. By the way, you don't have to type in pi as 3.14. You can actually just type pi, pi, with a set of closed parentheses, and it will take the, the, uh, a very precise value of pi and use it in the, in the formula. And wavelength. Uh, sorry, wave number is 2 pi divided by L. So those are the formulas. Everything is set up except for the VBA controls. So the way to do uh, the VBA controls is you go to the developer tab at the top. And um, if in your Excel, your, your installation of Excel, you do not have the developer tab, then you have to tell it to show it to you. Because most people, to be honest, don't use the developer tools, and it's not a default setting. So go to the Office button, select Excel Options, and under Popular, there's a little checkbox here for Show Developer Tab in the ribbon. Just go ahead and click that, say OK, and the developer tab should now appear on your command ribbon. Once you have that, click over here under controls to design mode. We're now in design mode where instead of, uh, well, what we're going to be doing is, is putting in VBA controls. And we have this insert command here. You say in, insert. and there's quite a variety of different controls here, and I'm not going to go through all of them right now. What I am going to do is I'm going to show you this one right here, the spin button. Click on that, and then come over here and click and drag your spin button. And we might as well go ahead and do the others. Trying to make them all about the same size. Not that that really matters. And there we go. We've got our three controls. Now, so far, they don't do anything yet. So what we need to do is come over here, right-click on the control, and go to Format Control. You have a number of different tabs here. You can set the size, and that would be a good way to make sure that they're all exactly the same size by typing in the same widths here. Um, I'm not going to bother with that right now. Instead, I'm just going to go straight to the meat, and that is the control tab. The time control, I'm going to make a minimum value of 0 and a maximum value of 1,000. Incremental change, whenever you hit the button, it's either going to increase or decrease by 1. And here's the critical part, cell link. And here I'm going to put in a reference to what cell I want this control to change. And I can either put in F2, or since I've named that cell T, I can just type in the value, the name T. So now, when I come out of design mode, and I hit that button, I'm changing the value of T or cell F2. So let's go back to design mode and fix up the other two. Right click on the control, 
format control. This is the wavelength. The wavelength I want to have, I'm going to have a minimum value of 5 and a maximum value of 100. Now remember the span of the graph, it only goes from 0 to 100. So a wavelength of 100 would, would have the wavelength span the entire range of the, of the graph. I can have it more if I want. Let's make it 200. Minimum value, uh, if, if I make it too small, it, it won't really look like a sine wave very well. So minimum value of 5, maximum value of 200. And the critical part, what is the cell link? It, this is the wavelength, which is C5, but I've named that cell capital L, so I'll just type capital L. So there it is with a value of 5. You can see it with that small value doesn't look very much like a sine wave. But. And lastly, our amplitude will take minimum value of 0, that's fine. We'll make the maximum value 10. Incremental change still 1. Cell link, the amplitude is C5. I could type C5, or since I've named it A, I'm just going to type A. Now we're done. Click that button to get out of design mode. Now we're back to the regular spreadsheet. The amplitude, notice that the graph is a flat line, and that's because the amplitude is 0. So here we go, we'll increase the wavelength, increase the time, see it move. So our controls are working. So that's a quick introduction to VBA controls and how you can put them into your own spreadsheets.